In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to prepare crepe hair for a facial hair makeup application. So I'm starting with wool crepe hair. It comes uh, raveled or it comes uh, in a braid and you're just going to have to pull off the amount of hair that you need for your given facial hair application. Here I'm taking two shades, a dark shade of brown and a blonde shade, and I'm going to work them together to show you how to blend hair. Because it is braided, depending on your hair texture, you're going to have to work on um, getting rid of the texture of the hair. So the curlier your hair is, the more texture you want to leave in. The straighter your hair is, the more you will need to kind of press that texture out. Here I'm just using just a standard um, iron with some steam, and I'm kind of steaming out that texture in the, the hair itself. The hair can handle a great heat because it is indeed just wool, um, but you're going to see that it does have a wave. So I'm kind of giving a little bit of a pull, or I'm pulling, giving a little tension, I should say, um, on the hair as I'm pressing it out. And uh, because it's braided, it has a tendency to want to curl on itself. So you just have to pay attention to the braid uh, of the hair itself or the the shape and direction the hair is going so that it's starting to lay flat. So you may need to just move it and adjust it a little bit as you're working. So now that I have the hair prepped and ready to go, I start to um, pull the hair apart, um, but I'm being pretty gentle as I'm working. I'm just trying to um, just break the hair down um, into its thinner layers. So uh, I'm moving it across and getting it ready to, uh, to start to pull from end to end. So first I pull across the middle um, of itself, trying to get a thin layer that I can kind of see through. No major like lumps or clumps. You may need to uh, pull the hair a little bit, uh, but because these are uh, shorter hairs that have been like spun together um, it's gonna have um, you know these hairs will indeed pull apart uh, fairly easily so you want to be careful of, on over man manipulating here I'm putting pressure on both ends and I'm now just kind of pulling my hair apart and then I'm overlapping my layers grabbing my ends and for giving pressure, pulling apart. And I'm gonna keep doing this process of blending layer on top of layer, grabbing the pressure at the ends of the hair um, and pulling apart until I get a nice quality and blend of the hair. So you can see that it's kind of streaky at the moment and I have a lot of highlights. My advice would be to you, always, when I'm working with crepe hair, I tend to use two colors um, just to give more of a realistic uh, appearance. You don't have to obviously use a brown and a blonde. Most of us aren't quite um, that category. Um, but looking at your hair color itself, maybe it's adding gray in or uh, what it is. This is just going to help to visually see what I'm doing. I'm pulling off here. You can see on the side there, I pulled off little clumps that were just a little on the... Um, that just I didn't need um, so you're gonna run into that if you be gentle and ginger as you're working uh, you won't have a lot of excess but you will get hair that you're not going to use now I'm just taking a large tooth comb and I'm kind of grabbing in the middle of my hair and I'm just going to kind of rake off any knots that may be in my work. Um, so I'm kind of keeping pressure on the center and I'm trying to um, work from the center out setting this hair aside. I'm actually rolling it into a ball because I will show you a technique on how to do beard stubble with the excess so I don't ever throw this away but I do kind of kind of roll it into a ball um, to create a nice little matted ball. This is great for doing um, beard stubble texture. So you can kind of keep those pieces around for doing beard stubble. And then I have my hair that is ready or that is um, in prepped and getting ready 
to layer. I'm just going to continue to do further rounds of blending of the hair until I get a nice mix that's going to be free of streaks so that I have a little bit of highlight and low light. I might need to separate in the middle um, so that I'm overlaying a little bit, but eventually with enough time and patience, you're going to have a nice blended um, round of hair so that you're not going to have such a streaky quality, but you're going to have the ability to kind of see those highlights and low lights. So things that are helpful are some scissors, some, um, and a large tooth comb. Here you can see that I'm now taking that rolled up ball section and I'm just trimming fuzz out of it. So taking really um, short little snips and creating like really fine hair that I'm gonna use uh, later to apply a beard stubble look. This is just gonna kind of give me that stubble quality that I can use um, in there. So this is a great thing to kind of keep and I'm probably gonna take it together and roll, yes, roll it into another little ball that's gonna help me with these small bits in preparation for my application. So I hope that helps you on understanding what to do to start to prep your hair for your laying of hair beard application.